This week's feast. Giant Cheerios from Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. For this week's feast, we wanted to do something healthy. And simple. And I just rewatched this really great movie called Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Ugh, a classic! Absolutely. There's this scene where Rick Moranis' character almost eats a shrunken kid who's fallen into a bowl of Cheerios. So today we're going to make the biggest oversized Cheerios that we can with an extremely simple recipe just like the real thing. So, let's get cooking. Today's recipe is a tribute to Cheerios. It's a very similar recipe. It's incredibly simple and made up of just a few key ingredients. The first and main ingredient of this entire recipe are oats, and we modeled that directly off of the real ingredients in Honey Nut Cheerios and Yellow Box Cheerios. Oats are one of the healthiest foods you can digest, filled with dietary fiber, and it's the key to our recipe today. First, pour them all into a food processor or blender and get it going until it becomes a fine powder. Then add in the remainder of your ingredients and process it all again. Pour it out into a mixing bowl and add your water. We're going for a dough-like consistency. Flour a surface and knead your dough a couple of times. Then take out strips of it and roll it out into circles to create your Cheerios. You can make these as small or as large as you want. For our big Cheerio, we simply took the remainder of the dough and made it as big as we possibly could. Bake at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 to 30 minutes and voila! You've got custom homemade Cheerios. The larger they are, the more likely they'll crack a little bit, but we covered some up with some frosting to give it that perfect glazed look. Of course, you can always add a little milk to round out your new giant size breakfast, and for your own safety, don't go shrinking yourself in size anytime soon either. And there you have it, we made one gigantic Cheerio, and a bunch of really cute baby ones, although these are pretty big too. And the nice thing is, you guys saw the ingredients, there's nothing that's hyper-processed in the whole thing, and the same goes for actual Cheerios, that's why it's a healthy snack. Heart healthy. And it's really fun to make. Look at how big yeah, this thing is. These are amazing. You can and wear this like as a hat. We also frosted a couple. It's a really simple powdered sugar, milk, uh, vanilla extract glaze. Yeah. But in case you're in the mood for frosted Cheerios. Oh! Those are the ones that we're actually going to be trying today. That's so right. shall we? Yeah. Ding. Cheers. I'm going to dip it in some milk. All right. It's like a big cereal. Mm-hmm. It has the crunchiness of a Cheerio. Mm hmm And actually, depending on how long you bake it, it could be nice and soft, too. So Cheerios are great. They're very healthy for you. And they also give you a lot of energy in case you ever find yourself in a position like this. A delicious snack. Yes. And a great way to start the day off. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't know what we're going to do with this Cheerio. Maybe we should frame it. How long do you think it'll hold up? forever. It's a Cheerio. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys end up making this recipe at home and make a bigger Cheerio, please tweet us a picture and let yes. us know because this is pretty big. Oh yeah. This is like my whole hand width over here. Man. Like. Yes, we would love to see it. We actually were going for the Guinness Book of World Records biggest Cheerio, but guess what? It doesn't exist. So, so far we're the title so holders. So far we're doing a piece of fiction at the top. Woo! So until next time guys, Cheerio! Old chaps! <laughs>